What's going on guys and welcome back to another Satisfactory video where last time we worked on this little power plant right here and yes, you heard me correctly, little. And this is making enough power for us to push towards tier 7 and 8 so we can start working on the grand large titan projects I have installed for you guys. And when I said this is a small project, it is in my eyes because I normally build on the grand scale. So just think of this building right here but five times of that. Yes, and I know it's been a while since I released the last Satisfactory video, and that's because I've been working on a very special project. And what that is, is grabbing all the plastic and the rubber and transporting it from the origin all the way over to the desert base. And oh boy, was it a long, tedious project. But I had a little help from a friend. Yep, and that friend was the blueprint maker. So yeah, you remember this little thing we built? Well, I decided to do this. So yeah, I ended up doing that, but also this save is now available for you guys to download. Obviously, it's a work in progress. There's a lot of inconsistencies, but go in there and see if it can run on your PC and see if you can get any ideas. And how to get that is you just go into the description below, give my Discord link a click. You'll be presented with these three rooms right here. Obviously, make sure to read the rules and go into choose your role section and then choose what categories you would like to see within Discord to customize your experience. But to find my save, you're going to need to click on the melon, which is going to give you my, my category. So anything to do with my YouTube, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. And then just go down and click on satisfactory save and then by the time this video goes out there will be a file in here and all you need to do is just click the download button once that's done press the windows and r key on your keyboard this will come up down here and just type in this percentage local app data and then this window will come up just scroll down look for factory game click on that click on save save games and then obviously your steam id number and then go into there and just drag and drop into this folder. But also, just to disclose, if you are playing on the Epic Launcher, there will be a longer unique code in the same place the Steam ID uh, file is as well. So it's exactly in the same location. You'll just have a longer number. But also remember, if you're enjoying the videos, to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just a bloody emoji. You know how we do it. But now it's time to show you how I built what I built and what we did in this episode because there's more than what was in that little teaser. So the first thing I need to do is go into the hub and then go to tier six and we'll see monorail train technology. As you can see, I have unlocked it. It does give me trains, the freight cars, railways, the stations, the platforms, and yes, the signals. And if you are wanting a train guide, I have got one. If you look up in the top right hand corner of your screen right now, you will see, and I'll put it, also put it in the description, a video on how to do trains, a little bit of a guide on how to do signals and all that kind of stuff. But also ignore this right here. This is an inventory mod I'm actually not using, but it's kind of stuck in my game now. But as you can tell, I have got a large inventory space and that is due to a mod. I have seen, seen some people asking what it, why is it so big and all this kind of stuff. I mean the inventory slot, I don't mean my sock size, okay? Okay, and that is just to help me when I'm working on projects. I don't have to keep coming backward and forward and during the live streams whilst I'm building these so I can kind of advance my progress to work towards the next video. Okay, so to begin with, what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing the um, coated concrete foundation and I'm just kind of extending it every so often uh, and just kind of working towards our goal, which is to take this foundation right here and take it all the way through this canyon through the rocky desert down the western side of the map to our fuel facility and yes we will have clipping like this and all that will get done eventually so what i'm going to do now is i want to grab myself a ramp and if we just scroll down right here we'll just go with the small two meter double ramp and then just start bringing this up like so 
And then once we place that, we're just going to level it out at the top. And then I want to start making some curves and start making it through the canyon. And a lot of people have been commenting how I do the curves and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I have got multiple methods. It has been in some tips and tricks videos that I've done and all that kind of stuff. And it is a method that I learned from DC1, who is a fellow content creator, mainly primarily on Twitch but does have a YouTube channel as well. And what we're going to do is we are going to be working it towards the left. So we want to work on the right. And if I was to work on, if I wanted to go right, I would want to work on the left. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place this uh, walkway down right here. We're going to attach that right there. And then we're just going to place this right on top. It's a little bit more difficult now to do this, especially with the a lot more snapping grid. So we're going to place this down literally right there. Rotate it to the left by one little meter. I say one meter, but like one notch. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the crossing down right there, like a little empty platform. Grab ourselves a foundation. Just attach that there like this. Aim at the center of that foundation you've just placed. Hold control and turn it by one notch. Place that down. Grab yourself this crossing. Bring it over to this corner. Place. Grab yourself the foundation again and attach that to there. So the top right hand corner of the foundation aligns with the edge of the walkway. Place that down, delete these two right here, delete this one, and then grab this foundation and place it directly underneath like that. So then you've got one underneath there. You can remove this, and then you can just grab that, and then just zoop that to the edge of where you need to go. It will start to clip like this, but it's not too bad. And then you just carry on working that, the same process over again until you get the angle you want and then just grab the straight and then take it along. So like I said, when you've got the bend you want and then we can start working on the straight, what we need to do then is obviously clear any, any obstacles. Just grab our little chainsaw, take out the imposters if I can grab it from this angle. If not, I've got to go underneath. God damn it. Remove the imposters. And then as you know, in the previous video, not the Christmas video, which was an absolute troll, by the way. <laughs> but hopefully you all had a new good New Year's and good holidays. Uh, but as you know, I did build these blueprints. And now with a recent patch that happened just at the end of December or middle of December, uh, we're able to snap these uh, properly together now and also align it on uh, and snap it to our current world grid as well. So the way these kind of work we can kind of see this in like in like the working thing we're going to make sure we press r and snap it to blueprint and change the build mode to blueprint and then we're just going to attach that there like this and then as you can tell we've got a bit of a straight here we need to extend on to so i'm going to use the three piece so i'm just going to grab that make sure it snapped to blueprint and then i'm just going to click and place just like this and remember that pipes and conveyor belts can only move along seven foundations in length hence the reason you put one of these down you put two three pieces so which is a three and then a three so you have a six uh, six foundation gap and then the end one is a seven so right now we put a three piece down we can then put a four so i'm going to grab the single piece which like i said this whole blueprint is available in discord as well and then we're just going to grab ourselves a um support beam like right here and then we're going to place that one there, just like that. And then we're going to go to the top. And because we're not going to be snapping this to a blueprint, we're just going to place this freely. So we're just going to come into here and place that literally in the middle of this foundation. It snaps to the end, snaps to the end here. But as you can see, because we are on a bend now, this is starting to encroach onto this line right here. But do not worry. All we need to do is grab the support again but we'll aim at this foundation, keep on this line right here, and you can see on the left hand side, it's encroaching onto the other pillar, which is totally fine. You just place that one there. Then you go down here, you do the same one with this line, and you do the same with this line, and until it comes and you can see how this one is not encroaching anymore. So if I place that there, we can see we have a bend in the highway. It works as well upstairs with the things. Everything is not clipping or attaching to each other. Uh, and we have a small turn. So we just kind of need to work through that. And then what we need to do is on this end, we're just going to grab ourselves our three-piece piece. Three-piece piece? That kind of works, right? Aim at that side and then place one and then two. And then we do another support. So every of the three pieces, we do a support. And then we just snap that one to there and then so on and so forth. 
And just to give you a bit of visual representation why, is because when we go to do the belts, which I have got belts inside of here, but because we don't know the direction we're taking them yet, they will reach perfectly to the next snapping point. Any further, they will not be able to be placed because, you know, the length of the belt's too long. It's the same with the pipe as well. If I was to get a pipe, go into logistics, grab myself a pipe, and then place that there to there, you can see it won't attach to that one, but because that one is perfect distance away from the other support, it will attach and you can take your pipes where you need to go. Pipes are bi-directional. Obviously, belts aren't bi-directional. Um, so really, you don't want to place the belts yet because I don't know which direction I'm going to be taking these belts. Am I going to be taking stuff from, you know, a future project that I might want to attach onto this and send that way and all that kind of stuff? So, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. And we're just going to take this whole highway and continue building this because this is going to be where any trucks might come on. Not right now, but in the future, I might have a building right there that might have a truck that comes out here and goes to the end of the canyon. Who knows? The world is our oyster. And after many, 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 many hours, you can see that I've took it all the way over to the rocky desert as of now. And I managed to get to this location, but I keep running out of items. So I'm having to like travel back and going backward and forward, even with my inventory size. And if I'm not mistaken, by the time I got to this point, this was like day number two. I I've already spent, this was like on the 15th hour of placing all of this down, making the curves and making this for you guys. But you can see I've already kind of placed the base foundation where the trucks will be. And all I need to do is just place down the blueprints of, you know, the, uh, the highway. But also, I do want to apologize to those that are watching on my second channel, the behind the scenes of how I do all this. You can see that I do make this live. I do make this vanilla. Uh, and you can see all of that on my second channel. Uh, the previous videos have not gone up because YouTube are taking so long to render them to 1080p for some reason. I am working with it and I have contacted YouTube and hopefully that gets sorted as soon as possible. Okay, so I've just gone back to base and I'm just literally grabbing some supplies for to finish off the highway. But I thought, let's place a foundation down here, which I have done. And I want to literally grab our train station. I want to put this down now um, so I can get back and forward with my supplies, um, you know, and kind of work on it. So what I want to do is I'm going to kind of place these, this train station like down here. And then I want to add uh, two, uh, no, three fr freight platforms, sorry. We want three because, and I want to flip this uh, that way so it's facing my storage. And we want one, two, and three. So, because we are going to be working on the project assembly parts, which you can see up in the top right-hand corner now, we need to complete phase three. So we have three items, but one of them items requires our heavy modular frames. So what I need to do is I need to make a train station here. Well, to be precise, down here at the side of it, which is going to grab my heavy modular frames, take it along this river here, and then make its way through the northern forest, and then attach itself onto a junction onto the highway, as you can see there. And inside the fuel station at the Golden Coast, I'm going to put down a train stop right here, which will be picking up the plastic and the rubber. But this station is only going to be picking up two items, so it's only going to need two stations. But also, I do need to state that at this station here, at the heavy modular frame, we'll have two empty platforms and a freight station. And that's because at this station right here, we want to dedicate this one to like rubber or plastic, this one to rubber or plastic, and this one to heavy modular frames. So we need to do this exact same station over at the heavy modular frame factory. It's just that these two will actually be empty platforms at that one. So then we know that the train coming in will only deliver to this station right here, which will deliver heavy modular frames. Where the other um, station, which will be at the uh, Spire, Co Spire Ghost, the Golden Coast will only have two because the train car will be at the front here. It'll have a freight uh, cart here and a freight cart there. Where the one at the heavy modular frames will have a train which we are locomotive that stops here empty cart empty cart and then the heavy modular frames so it will be the longest train but only bringing in one item and then what i want to do is i want to bring this line to the edge here and here's a little bit of a rule of thumb if you've not seen my tips and tricks video is work on the straights first before turning a corner so as you can see we are about to turn this smooth corner right here let's find our first straight piece 
which is going to be right there. Place that on the edge and take this along like so. And place that to the edge. Always place it to the edge of a foundation or to the half of a foundation. Never place it in middle of them. Otherwise, you can start getting some wonky turns or anything like that. And then what we want to do is grab ourselves our, at the corner and then just take it all the way around just like that. And it will snap on and you get a nice smooth turn with your corners. Otherwise, what could happen is if you, if you bring that corner in and you don't have this straight already here, what could happen is we place that down there. You can place this down right here and you really try and estimate where this straight is, right? So you can take this around. From my knowledge and my experience, I know it needs to go here. But for example, you might place it here, for example, right? So then I'm going to go from here and then I'm going to start placing this straight. But look what happens now is I go to place this down here. This will then become wonky. And when I mean wonky, you're going to have a bit of a wonky track. So if I look down this, once this is built, we can kind of see that train track now has a bit of a wonk on it. <laughs> it's a bit wonky. So make sure you, you do your straights first. It's a lot easier and it'd be a lot stressful if you do want to get rid of them. <laughs> and there we go. We can see our first train arriving at the Golden Coast Fuel, which basically is in that spot I told you about. And I've, all I've done is I've removed the resource sink from the rubber. And I've also removed the resource sink from the plastic and just added it into storage that goes underneath and then sent into the freight stations. So as you can see, this train's name is Jellyman Kelly, after one of my Twitch viewers. And also, you can see a second train over here called Merwok, which is one of my Twitch viewers as well. And we can see that it's going from the Golden Coast, going over to the Desert Starter Factory. And a lot of you have been mentioning, you keep calling it a starter factory, it is a starter factory. My main and end game starts when I've unlocked tier 7 and 8 and I start working on the big projects because everything up to then will normally get deleted. So as you can tell, the trains are now passing each other literally near enough 50% away through and how I've worked that out or done that is when I set up the uh, automation one train so let's say he set off from the golden coast and started working his way this way when he left the golden coast station I got this train that was going to be over here I set that on its path in as well so by the time that one gets to this station the train that was originally starting from here should be arriving at the golden coast keeping a nice optimal flow also, in case anyone comments, these uh, exclamation marks and this one right here is just tractors without any fuel because that's my Christmas factory, which I guess I will have to show you at some point, right? Maybe next year? <laughs> but now you must be wondering bitch you've got trains on you've got two trains on the line you're going to have collision problems well yes because i've not placed any signs down and then what we need for signs is just the block signals we don't have any crazy four way junctions or anything like that for the path signals to be introduced we don't really need to touch them so we're just going to use the standard block signals and all we need is just the steel pipes the copper sheets and the circuit boards but one thing i need to do here is i need to be pretty quick because as soon as i put this block signal down what it's going to do is the train that is going to be on this line well if i put this here and if i was to put this train right uh, well sorry that one right there what's going to happen now is this train is not going to move forward because, is if I pull out another sign, this train is in, this is a red line. And that's in a red line, well, sorry, that's in an orange line, which means the train that's on its way here now is also on a red line. So that train is permanently stuck until we create another block. Hence, please go and watch my train tutorial if you want to visually understand what I mean and make it a little bit easier for you. So I'm just holding the block signal out here so you can visually see what's going on. You can see I put all the signals down on the track and it is very colorful, which means when a train is in this blue section here, for example, the train that is going to be in this yellow section will wait at that signal right there until this blue section is clear. And once it, that train enters the blue, this then will then light up and allow this train to move on. And it will kind of do that uh, like a domino effect. So the more trains on here, the more signals will be activated. But always remember to place a train signal at the entrance and the exit of the train station. And with the train signal, you can see there is an arrow on the actual signal itself. Make sure... A, 
the, that is the direction the train is going. So the train is heading out of here, which means the arrow needs to as well. Okay, so the next thing I've done is I've now completed the train line for my heavy modular frame factory. And like I said before, it comes down here into this junction to, you know, head over to where it needs to, which is the starter base. But I had a little bit of a fun little incident that happened kind of on stream because I've been using a, a little train that I've been putting down for my own personal use so I can kind of travel with some items to you know other locations but take a look at this clip that happened and just to give you a bit of context the train that comes from up there to down here from the heavy modular frame factory is a bit of a speedy boy oh Back it up quick. Back it up quick! And with that out of the way, there was one final thing that we needed to add to this highway, which I asked and requested you guys to post your blueprints into the Discord to share with myself so I can go through them and I will choose one for your well for you to actually have your blueprint in this save so we decided to go with this one this was made by Sean I will make sure I uh, put that into the blueprint section uh, along with my highway stuff um, the only thing that uh, happened was uh, when he put it in the actual colors was not there uh, so I added these pillars uh, just to give it a bit the orange and the orange signs here as well so it kind of matches the whole thing so GG Sean thank you for your blueprint and uh, yeah so it's very very simple there's three sections you've got the top section which you can see right here uh, and then all you need to do is just place that down you know where you need to well to put it and then what you do is you get the center column then you just you know, snap it to uh, your blueprint and just bring this down. Very simple. And then just snap your bottom bit to it. It's very, very easy to do and very, very simple. And yeah, you're probably going to hit the object limit. I already know this. Um, and uh, yeah, it's very, 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 very easy to do. That one's a little bit lopsided because I didn't snap it to the blueprint. <laughs> but anyway, you get the drift. And uh, yeah, <sighs> the highway is finally completed until I need to add it to another biome that's later down the line so yeah that happened and the main reason we wanted to bring all of this over here was to work on the project assembly part so i'm gonna get your hand and i want you to follow me over here because obviously i've been working and doing a bit of stuff up here as you can tell we've obviously we made the computers and the uh, the uh, circuit boards and all that kind of stuff but there's two new manufacturers and these manufacturers are making the adaptive control units and they're making the modular engines and all i've done is literally everything is going into my storage and all i've done is just go if we go underneath i've just diverted stuff off from the storage or stuff off uh, that was on the floor already up here which was majority of like most advanced materials and all i've done is got the splitters got mergers and all that kind of stuff and then just basically added it to these manufacturers it was very very simple once you've got everything in one location you can then start diverting it off to what's needed and as you can see we're making modular engines and we're also making adaptive control units so now all we need to do is just wait until we actually get the objects for them so we can send it off in the space elevators so we can start working on nuclear and aluminium and nuclear pasta and copper powder yeah and all that good stuff that was a bit of a weird couple of clips there <laughs> it was a little bit creepy but yeah let me wait until all these come and then we can get that sent off and here we go it is time all i need to do is send you you and you wait a minute god damn it i'm sure of versatile framework i need 100 need 100 need 100 bam 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 get more than what i need <laughs> and then add you in seal it and yes we're gonna bloody send it and like that bob's your uncle we are now moving on to phase four with all the good stuff we got so much stuff to do now we can now see we've unlocked the bauxite refinement logistics mark 5 hazmat suit 
aeronautical engineering. We've got drones, hover pike, nuclear power, advanced aluminium, leading edge production, particle enrichment. And oh boy, is this about to get complicated. So I need to break down these videos a lot more simpler for those that are new to the game. But it's also time to officially start this playthrough with our final designs, our final builds, and gigantic builds. And yes, we're going to be building our mega factory right here. So Twitch chat did a vote, and this was, well, the leading position where they wanted to go. It's got access to all the things we need. But that's going to wait until another episode. So thank you so much for watching. Check out my other content right here. And let's prepare ourselves for the next video, which will be about aluminum or aluminium whichever you want to call it but anyway keep smiling and i'll see you in another video